I have a sad story to tell you It may hurt your feelings a bit Last night when I walked into my bathroom I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look king I think I'll break off with my girlfriend Her antics are queer, I'll admit Each time I say, darling, I love you She tells me that I'm full of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look king Our baby fell out of the window You think that her head would be split But good luck was with her that morning She fell in a barrel of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen An old lady died in a bathtub She died from a terrible fit In order to fulfill her wishes She was buried in six feet of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen When I was in France with the army One day I looked into my kit I thought I would find me a sandwich But the darn thing was loaded with shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look king And now, folks, my story is ended. I think it is time I should quit. If any of you feel offended, stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always look keen. Hey there, folks. The doctor is in. You guitarded bastards. Yeah, it's me. Nigel. No. <laughs> oh, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com, hanging out with my massive Johnson. Yeah. Anyway, hard luck king guitars. What the hell are they? Um, I'm just trying to make you seasick. This whole video will make you seasick, as you can tell. It's unnecessarily long. A lot of people keep asking for the really long videos, so hey, that's what I'm giving you. Now I'm doing a really cool thing with the... Oh, kind of part of my face in the dark. Why? Because my lighting sucks. Um, <laughs> anyway, hard luck kings. Um, bought a couple guitars, totally redid them. So you get to see all that and more and more and more and some of this stuff you won't believe. Uh, some of it you will believe. Um, but no matter what, at the end of this thing and a few other places, I am going to show you how to get these guitars at half price all the time. Why? Because they have a couple few different pages on their website. I'll show you those at the end of the video when I'm going through their website. So. Uh, if you see a real nice guitar you like for 250 bucks, you can go out there and get it for 109 bucks on the other page. Okay, the two I bought are 200 bucks each on their regular guitar page. They're right there waiting for you. Neon green Strat and Tele things. Uh, slime green, actually. And what I pay for them, 109 for the Tele and $99 for the Strat. Um, and it's on the same site. Not B-stock, not, nothing like that. It's <laughs> it's funny shit, folks. So you could buy all this stuff at half price, never pay full price. Why? Because it's just on another page for half price. Um, <laughs> it simply is that. So um, you're welcome. Enjoy the video. Hey there, folks. Dr. Groovy here. Scott Grove of GroovyMusicLessons.com. I've had some people telling me to do these um, Hard Luck Kings guitars for a while. At least give them a shot. This here is called the Southern Bell. Um, 
the very last tally they have on the website, period. And it's in the uh, slime green color. Um, again, this is very neon colored. Uh, typical telly. Um, alder body, everything else explains itself. Maple rosewood, 25 and a half inch scale. Blah, blah, blah. I'll need go pickups. Um, probably made in China. Nobody can definitively say. Um, there you go, there you go, and there you go. Uh, X fret markers. Um, they say they made 40 of these, and this was the last one that they sold because I bought the last two guitars, period, from them. So they say they're all hand numbered. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that's hand numbered. <laughs> it don't look like it. So if that's number 18 out of 40, then they made 30 of the straps in this color, so I bought one of those too. Okay, so this was uh, $200 for the very last one of these for sale, and then I just picked up the strap for $99. I uh, got a free, well, I'm sure I paid for it. I'm sure that's the difference. Uh, hard shell case with this one, and not with the strap, because they're sold out of hard shell cases. So no more straps, no more tellies. They just have a whole bunch of flying Vs. Um, what do they call these things? These uh, Firebirds and that kind of thing, all in neon colors, but they're blowing them out like crazy. So, if you, if you get out there now, you might be able to get one. I don't know. Um, anyway, there's nothing wrong with this guitar. Everything I read on it, oh, it sucks and, uh, you know, so nobody can do a proper anything <laughs> assessment. So, only thing I have found that uh, is guitarded is just the fact that the nut doesn't fit. So, I'll fix that and fix it. <laughs> Um, I will put the roller string trees on. I will put good tuners on. This is all I'll do tonight and make it up to a Nashville telly. And I'll tell you the rest in a second. Um, again, some sort of Alnico pickups, which I will put just Fender um, ceramics in. Or maybe a set of um, Kingmans I have out there. Or some lace sensor. I don't know. Whatever works. So, and nothing is through the body which is what I like as far as strings. I don't like them going through the body at all. So, top mount, the Dario strings on here, blah, 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 kick-ass looking color. Man, that poor old Rain song's gonna get beat to death one of these days. Um, my dad and I, when I was back home in Indiana, were talking a lot about, <laughs> that was the Hello Kitty guitar, um, the old Plymouth from about 1970, the Superbirds. And the dot, you know, the old Dodge darts and the uh, chargers and um, different things that around that time that were done in this exact Dodge color. And so the Superbird, if you guys remember these puppies, that's immediately what I thought of when I saw this guitar. So that's what I have in mind. So here's what's going to happen along with all the typical stuff to make it a. Uh, Nashville Telly is tonight. I will do all that and put a new pick guard on and all new pickup, all the stuff I just told you, and put those roller saddles on up there and roller roller bridge saddles and roller trees. Um, here's the Super Bird, the old Roadrunner, and the Roadrunner cars. Anyway, this decal, which is under here, again, all just vinyl stuff, but it's the only one that was exactly true to the real one which is where it goes on to the um, spoiler right back here. It actually goes above the word Plymouth, but it's not here on this Hot Wheels car. For some reason, they put it down here because nobody's ever actually right on it. But that will end up going right back here. So it will be nice and clear and everything that says um, Superbird and Roadrunner will be green. The whole background will be that green. Um, I got me a bunch of different um, Plymouth uh, decals, one of which will end up going across about bar and one across the back and I got a couple more right here and I'm going to try one, see if I have to use a whatever I have to use and then go right onto the headstock with probably that one there and just kind of do the Roadrunner um, Superbird 
thing out of it because first thing I thought of when I saw that color. So anyway, with all the, the I have no problem with the guitar. I haven't done anything as far as really checked it out, but everything works and is totally workable. So everybody has their own opinion on these things. Maybe some people get trashy ones, maybe some don't. Again, you know, crappy nut, but Everything can be fixed within a matter of, you know, a short period of time. So, anyway, I'll just go through nothing but the, the sounds and whatever. But anyway, you can't get them because they're gone. Like I said, I got the last two. I got this one for 200 plus the case, which is really nice. Um, total inclusive. And then I just went online for their blowouts and they had one strat one exactly like it left and I bought it. For $99 and nothing else left in tellies or straps at all so anyway so it's back through the uh, Johnson amp turn off the compression just go to my book pickups wide open the volume and uh, tone <laughs> and a little bit of slap back. change the pickups I don't know just rather have some fender pickups in there that I know I can count on and I and not a Alnico guy even though it doesn't make much difference except for Alnico pickups actually do lose their magnetism over the course of about 60 years but anyway these are very hot pickups I want very low output pickups so that's why I'll be changing okay boner tone just on the bridge pickup <laughs> Sounds groovy. Um, what else could you want? Oh, plain old distortion. That's right. Bridge pickup, plain old distortion. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
know, maybe one of these days I'll remember how to play some of these songs. What else do I got? you got okay so we will have a, about a 70 Plymouth Superbird when I get out of mom's basement <laughs> okay so we'll be back to finish this thing and uh, show you what we got all right rock and roll hey. <laughs> okay so here's the axe taken apart um, I've got all kinds of stuff I could do I've got some P90s too but hey um, yeah, and a little, they cut it a little close here, so we'll have some green that I just flaked off there. But yeah, humbucker route, this, and so I'll just have to do a single coil route here in the middle for the other strap pickup. There was no wire at all going to the bridge. Here's the bridge and the bridge pickup that came stock. So whatever you care to make of that, <laughs> uh, super substantially, uh, that was a joke. So there's your extra elongated screws, which I don't mind. Again, I will put roller saddles in here shortly. And this infamous neck pickup. And that will just kind of stay with the pit guard because I just don't need it. And of course, these frets are actually filthy, as is the fingerboard, and I'll take care of all that. And oh, yeah, the electronics, uh, the little buttons. Let's see, what do we got here? GF, oh, CF, GF. Um, so there you go. That's what is in here. And a crappy old typical thing going on there. So yeah, we I'll put some uh, grounding tape or paint, one of the two in here. And that'd be about it. So I'll show you that in a second. All right. Okay, okay new hole. Got some holes here for wires. And I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I've got more of these in the strap knobs, but eh, might be too much. Oh, Scott Grove doing too much. I don't know. If I don't, then you kind of saw it like this. All right? <laughs> so uh, let the madness begin. Okay, so I'll be putting... Well, actually, I'm going to put these fender pickups in. Got a couple here. Got another in a bag I haven't even opened up yet. But, yeah, those will do. And yeah, we got our uh, roller saddles and so forth here. So, oh, and a real switch. So, figure it out. <laughs> okay, I found a couple of really nice tele assemblies out here that have never been used. Just swap out the. Uh, we go three ways and drop an American five way in here. I might go. What do we got? Mm -hmm. These might be kind of cool. Okay, so we got quality electronics. Hmm. Cool stuff. Okay. We're looking better, looking better, looking better, and. See, got some other 
how I am and dunk and stuff that I won't be using because again if anybody wants this uh, set up got these and some P90s and all kinds of stuff from Duncan that I'll never use so. okay back to it okay hey same Skinner shirt gonna try to trick you to think it's the same day as the other <laughs> guitar when I did the Southern Bell green telly thing um, yeah continuity at least I think of it uh, so I got the other guitar in which is actually the Strat in the same color from the Hard Luck Kings thing and I've got a lot more information on it which I'll either do at the beginning of the video or at the end but either way you're gonna get some a lot of information on this company again somebody asked me to check them out and somebody wanted me to everybody kept wanting me to check out those elixir opti web things so I ordered a couple sets in and I may or may not put them on this guitar because they have brand spanking new uh, Diderios on them which are exactly what um, elixirs are same strings just with a different with the coating put on her okay so um, this what is it again a uh, bombshell or what they call their strats okay bombshell and here's <laughs> um, the 28 at the end this is supposed to be a limited edition of what the hell ever in the 30s like 32 of them but every single week they put out brand new ones of these and the telly ones and of everything else so the limited edition edition crap is bullshit because they'll put out brand new ones okay so I got this one for 99 bucks and on the clearance page if you go to the website and go to where it just says guitars you can buy this for two hundred dollars and the telly or you can just simply go to the clearance page and buy them for $99. So remember that. You can buy all the guitars they offer. So all these kind of guitars for $99. Bucks. Okay, Strats and Tellys. And then all their Les Pauls, Slang Vs, Explorers, and um, other things. Uh, look, I, I really dig that cool, that yellow Les Paul thing. Uh, you can get all those guitars for $129 every flipping week on the clearance thing if you go to just where it says guitars and stuff you're gonna pay you know upwards of 250 279 or whatever <laughs> so know that know that they're always on clearance and then they'll put in they'll start sending you stuff for um, hey get in on our pre-sale and then you got to pay full price but if you simply just wait um, until they actually show up then they'll be on clearance and for $99. And then they'll also be on just the guitar section where you'll pay double that. Okay, so remember that. Okay, other thing, the cases for all these. The Tele case for the Southern Bell thing does not fit this at all. So you have to buy the bombshell case. $59.99. But you cannot buy a what? Well, what I do, I always buy what I always buy. This is only my second one. But it's very easy to tell you what's going on now. Um, the Strat cases and the Tele cases do not fit the same guitar. So you have to buy a case by the same name as this. So you have to buy the bombshell case. Because this don't fit in here. This is... It gets in the way. So you got to buy the Tele case. Or the um, Southern Bell or whatever the flip it is. Um, okay. So... And then you have to pay double shipping. Because they don't have the cases in stock. I just ordered a case... Uh, two weeks ago and they forgot to ship it. I had to remind them again today to ship a case for this. So um, that too and I will show you what they actually ship shit in. So you got to pay double shipping so uh, 30 or 40 bucks shipping on this and then 30 bucks to have the case shipped from somewhere else so they may or may not arrive on the same day so you got to remember that. Okay? Uh, I wouldn't lie to you. Tuners are... yeah. Uh, the other one that Southern Bell thing has a D tuner that you know, it goes along fine, crank it, crank it, crank it, then and crank it, you know, so. Um, so these, this guitar is going to get um, a total makeover as far as cosmetic. Uh, the pickups actually sound pretty great on this. They're Alnico pickups, which I generally hate, but um, they sound okay. They're hot pickups, so I'm going to actually lower them quite a bit. 
and everything that is chrome on here, which is everything, will be black next time you see it. And same, it's like pit guards, black, uh, this black, um, all hardware will be black, locking tuners and so forth, and then decked out. The last one I did it as the uh, Plymouth Superbird. It turned out really good. It's done, um, which in the videos uh, aspect, it makes no difference because it's all done when you see it. This will easily be done tonight, uh, whenever that tonight is. This is August 31st when I'm telling you about this one. So the way this one's going to turn out is another Plymouth from the exact same year, the 70, or yeah, the 70 uh, Barracuda uh, Fastback is what this one's going to. So yeah, the little cars that I'm going to eventually sell with everything. So these do come in one of them triangle boxes. <laughs> you know, that you usually get inside of another box, inside of another box. So you get this inside of two triangle little boxes. Um, not very safe. The other one had a hole all the way through the end, both sets of boxes. And, but it somehow missed that little telly cutout and went through all the way through the box. And then the only thing else you get are a couple of um, stickers. And then you get the uh, 25 cent pack of that cord that's going to last you for about 10 seconds. Um, and two little Allen wrenches, one for the neck, one for the saddles, which will be changed. Uh, t I'm, I'm not throwing roller saddles on this one for some reason. I did on the telly. Um, so I'll just put a whammy bar in here. I'll tell you what, man, their fretwork is immaculate. Um, there's no, so far in these two anyway, no reason to do anything to the frets. They say they set them all up right there, blah, 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 blah. Um, I've had zero problem with their setup, none at all. Uh, they do loosen the strings considerably, which is what they should do when they ship them to you. I hate it when people are like, yeah, Guitar Center sent it to me and it was in perfect tune. Well, that shows you that they're dumbasses. <laughs> anyway, so, um, as you'll see on this one, uh, the nut actually fits in the slot where the last one didn't. Um, but the only thing is, it will cut the shit out of you too, so you're going to have to use a file to just take off the rough edges, because when you go up there, it will slice you. Um, it's just the way it is, so they forget that when they do it. The frets are not polished, so they're dirty, so I will have to clean those with my fret eraser. I'm simply putting on the whammy bar that came with it, so we can see if they actually did any kind of proper nut cutting and see if it's in going to hold tune. Everything's stretched out. Here's, yeah, everybody is stretched out. Here are the inlays, the bombs. Okay, so you can get these in all kinds of colors. They've got some new white ones out now. Uh, the Tele and this one both with all gold hardware and white with a white pit guard. Of course, this pit guard's going away because uh, white sucks, man. Black power, black power. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you've got, and it's a great Strat copy, and all their other copies are great, but of course Gibson stepped in and made them change the shapes of everything, but they're close enough to do whatever, but I'm sure they're great guitars because these are. Um, no, no complaints at all, except for the little nut needs to be cut, and just slightly better tuners would be nice. Um, that's it. Um, even though the pots are those little guys, I mean, some of those are in some of the most expensive axes around, those little pots. So fine and dandy there. Um, so, there you go. I'll plug it in and we'll check it out. Again, these pickups are going to stay, but you won't recognize them. And, that's it, man. I, I'm... I'm sold that these are good guitars. Okay, so these are, I'm going to say, every bit as good as um, something you know. Um, 
Do I want to go as far as Mexican fenders? Pretty close. Okay? And the fact that you really don't have to change anything, but it's a cool guitar for no money. I mean, I would say these are... Uh, as good or better than anything you could buy on the Rondo thing. Okay? So, that's that. Let's plug it in. Where's my strap I have to use? Because online on eBay I ordered um, two Mopar straps and they haven't sent them yet. And that's been a couple, two, three weeks ago. They haven't even packaged them yet. So, that blows dog. It would have been nice to have them on here for you instead of this labia pink thing. I don't mind a nice pink labia from Libya. <laughs> okay, yes, these are, these are Chinese. They play joke, they put PP in your Coke. It says nowhere here or on their website where they're made from. So they're hiding that fact. And of course, these little white things are just stickers, pull them off. Um, there is no plastic on the uh, pit guard for you to have to take off. Um, I'm just checking. Or is there? Hey, it's just so amazingly clear. Um, there it is. So there is plastic on there. Holy crap, it looks like nobody's ever touched it. So when I'm, I'm going to pull this off, I'll just leave that plastic on and let it be the way it is. So, color me wrong. Okay. Um, that's it. 11-inch um, scale. I'm sorry, 11-inch radius. 25-and-a-half-inch scale. Alder body. Uh, maple. Rosewood. And that's it. Okay. So, and poly finish. Do you need to know anything else? No, nope, that's it. It's a guitar, and it's made out of guitar parts and uh, tone bridges and tone knobs and tone tuners and tone paint. Okay? So everything you could ask for on a guitar is all tone stuff, which everybody wants, so it's, it's uh, been wiped down with um, uh, my tone spray. Um, Gibson makes tone spray for different tones. Honest to God, that's how they do it. Uh, if your guitars, you know, if you want it to sound bright or if you want it to sound, um, what's their stupid name for everything? Uh, whatever that name is, it's not mellow. It's uh, warm. Yes, they have tone spray to make it sound warm. If you have, if your uh, maple cap on your Les Paul is too bright. You put on the spray and it sounds warm, like you don't have a maple cap. Tone spray by Gibson. Honest to God. Okay, so here is the guitar. No compression, no nothing on it. Um, reverb a little bit because I like it that way. And that's it. I'm going through the Johnson Millennium JM 150 as pretty much normal. Everything's jacked up to 10. I'm going to go in the 2 position. These two pickups here, very basic chords because I'm not here to impress you with my amazing playing prowess. <laughs> changed from the moment it got here. I have not adjusted anything other than stretching out the strings. So I haven't touched the picket. I haven't touched anything. As you can tell, I did not even take the plastic off. Didn't even look like there was on here. Okay, so position one. <laughs> Country people, compression, and uh, the delay for the uh, if you 
to hear it overdrive a little bit, I'll just simply turn my volume pedal up. Second position with that same kind of thing. Okay, so there's those sounds. Go back to the normal sound. Middle pickup all by itself. Four position. Five position. So it plays amazing, no sharp frets at all. Um, I would not call this a beginner guitar. This is easily intermediate to pro. Uh, every any it's ninety nine bucks. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyway, yeah. If you want a cool thing, they got all kinds of great neon finishes and all kinds of satin black and satin other things. And if you want, they they've got the, everything covered and they put out new guitars every single week so sign up for them man again if you go to clearance you can buy everything cheap really cheap but if you hit just where it says guitars uh you'll pay double at least uh it's every guitar is on there that way so 99 bucks right here and 200 dollars exact same guitar and the telly one too 200 bucks each on their part where it just says guitars and go to clearance, exact same guitars again, uh, one out of 32 bullshit. And they've made thousands of these things. I wrote to them, they're like, yeah, when they run out, then we make more. Limited to whatever. It's like, makes no sense. But that is what they told me. I said, if we run out, we make more. Limited models, exactly the same. Same finish, same everything. Okay, boner tone, why not? Because it has to be here. <laughs> Um, bridge pickup, why not? <laughs>
So clean, do the tone, do the volume, so you know what those do. They do tone and volume things. <laughs> okay. Tone goes to shit when you turn down the volume, as does every guitar. Nice and pretty. Back it off slightly, your tone goes to total shit. Okay, back up. Great. Fine and the tone works fine and finally see if they do set it up right. If they cut the nut correctly. As with every company, they did not do the A or the E. Pull the E one time, stretch it, pull the E or the A, stretch it. Nope, so they do not set up, they do not take care of your nut. Okay, so there's that one. You'll see it when it is all done up as oh, just some cosmetic stuff to honor the uh, Barracuda from 70, the fastback. Okay, be groovy. Bye. Okay, we are inside of this. What the hell is the bombshell by Hard Luck Kings? Ah, pretty disappointed on this one, on the inside. Hey, look at that amazing fucking work. <laughs> um, this one's pretty funny, actually. The other one was a lot better, but um, it is what it is, and you can always... Again, these are going to be good project guitars. Humbucker single, humbucker routing. Um, on my telly, the, uh, for, the neck, for the plate, uh, for your electronics, it was like on the edge, so it... It just fell in when you tried to put another screw in it. Um, okay, so the neck. These tuners that they put on them are not chrome, as they state. That's just plastic, silver-colored coating, because you can feel it when you get up there. So that will chip off in a matter of seconds. Okay, so that's the way that is. Um... Again, I have to file the nut because it's messed up and then I'll have to do um, some work on the nut slot because they didn't do any work on that. Again, the frets feel great. They're probably made out of um, aluminum foil or something, but we'll find out how long they last. Um, same thing here, probably the cheapest bridge around they could find. Um, here's the back. Okay, so You've got a hole bigger than that of uh, Pamela Anderson here for your ground wire. Uh, the skinniest block they could find. Tons of room here to uh, block it though, or deck it, whatever you want to call it. So that's what you get in the back. Plus another pa Pamela Anderson hole in the middle right there for whatever reason. Um, so that's what you get there. Uh, there's tons of sawdust in here and whatever. Um, some of it's sawdust, some of it's chip paint. Okay, here are your electronics. Of course, like I said, um, that's the back tone knob. There's your middle one, of course, the same thing. Um, your volume knob. Here's your amazing solder work on. You know, of course, the super, super cheap you wouldn't expect anymore because, again, it's these are definitely stuff that you want to hot rod or just change out for. Consider them what they are. Just, you know, really decent starter, intermediate, or whatever. That's, it's hard to find a crappy guitar these days. Okay? These are your pickups. Okay? So they actually sounded decent, and I'm gonna, I had no problem with them. I'm going to lower them and see what I feel about them and if I have a problem I'll put new pickups in it. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay and the uh, cup. <laughs> uh, very cheap compared to the fender stuff which I'm putting a lot of fender parts in here. Um, it's just slightly above aluminum again. Aluminum foil I should say. Um, neck plates or chrome-ish and then they have the uh, 
rubber gasket thing for whatever reason. Okay, and again, there's a neck shim glued to the axe. And we'll find out if we need it. Like I said, it felt like it was playing great. And that's that. So that's the inside. And hey, I wanted to tell you, I had three or four of um, the strings hang up inside there. You're trying to get them out and they won't come out. So I had to use an Allen wrench to poke them through to even loosen them up. So the holes back here are too tight. If you plan on keeping that in there, uh, run a drill through there and just open them up just a little more to a Pamela Anderson size. And I'm going to say, um, by looking at the Diderio strings that are on here, that um, the colors of the balls, insert your own joke here, are very dull compared to uh, the ones that I have that come stock with everything else. The red is really bad. The green is really off. Um, the purple's off. The really dull color. So I'm going to say counterfeit Diderio's out of China. Okay? So I might go ahead and put a set of these um, OptiWebs on here since people want me to know what I think about them. Um, I already know what I think about them, but without trying them, it's so easy to know what you think about them. If you uh, read the specs, you pretty much know what you're getting, but you have to know specs <laughs> in order to determine that, and that's that. So I'll probably just go ahead and toss these on since these, I'm going to say, are 90% counterfeit on my assurity of it. Okay? So there's the axe. I'm getting ready to barracuda it. Woo, barracuda. <laughs> I'll leave that to um, Ann Wilson. She killer voice. Um, okay, so the project begins. Okay, folks, still August 31st, and I should get this uploaded tonight after it's edited so slightly. It'll probably be an hour long. Why? Because that's what I do. Yep, could have been done in five minutes, but if you don't have the time, uh, we got the beer. Anyway, so yeah, both the uh, Mopar guitars <laughs> from Hard Luck King's um, guitars um, gave like, what was it, 109 for one of them, for the telly looking one, and $99 for the other one. Why? Um, I'll show you in a little bit, because... Um, that's what it is. Actually, I told you a little bit, a little bit ago, but I'll show you everything uh, right after this. So both guitars are completely done, and again, uh, the Mopar straps aren't in, so um, that guy gets no um, shout out. And hey, the Hosa people from Hosa, one of the coolest brands in the world, they want me to um, do a. Um, deal with them so to go ahead and sponsor me and all that kind of crap so that'll be fun you know get that endorsement and so forth um so looking forward to working with those guys that'll be that'll be a blast anyway so the guitars are both um the telly looking thing which was called the southern bell okay you remember it green and green and green okay so the southern bell says plymouth on the headstock <laughs> okay um, the X's are still there. Okay, here's the unveiling of this thing. Okay, um, as you can see, big old Plymouth logo all the way across here. And you'll see some more of the groovy pinstriping here in a little bit. Um, I changed everything out, of course. Um, that's the, uh, there you go, Superbird logo. It actually is supposed to have black letters to be an authentic one. It was sold to me as authentic uh, from 1970. Of course, every single one has black letters if it's authentic. So therefore, yeah, 25 bucks and the guy lied. But that's what was going to be here, but it was too large. Okay, so it goes on the on here. So I um, had planned on putting my Fender pickups in for 
from a Nashville telly and then put a strap pick up in here. So I again carved out the metal. Um, there's a piece of crap Duncan in here. Um, and it sounds like crap, so I will be getting me another Fender. Um, made in Mexico, uh, Nashville. Pick up for that. Get rid of that thing. And that's what the middle pickup is from too, which is underneath all of this. And this one here is um, a Mexican standard neck pickup. Okay, so I had to put the five-way switch in, all new groovy components, and did the roller saddles and had to cut all kinds of stuff in there to make it all work. Um, tuners are the stock ones. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Everything underneath, I think I showed you as I was getting ready to do it. Um, okay, so I did this around the entire body. Pretty flippin' sweet, huh? So there's your binding, <laughs> so to speak. I think it looks sharp as hell. Um, and I even went as far as to uh, get that right. <laughs> so you gotta be, you gotta be good with your little tools to make that work out so I was proud of that didn't take much time but hey and then the um, back okay so we did some groovy tribal flame things um, and again it's just turned out amazing I think okay and my wife likes the other one better but since I didn't have anything for the back of here, since this didn't work out the way I wanted, um, too bad. Um, I think that's pretty flippin' sharp. So, doing these uh, racing stripes, I think are, they're a lot of fun. And, okay, and now, so that's the Superbird. Again, trying to remember to put everything correct from here. You don't even, there's not even the actual, uh, meep meep. <laughs> Roadrunner thing on here, so sorry Hot Wheels, you didn't do too good on this, but need to get me a big large version of that. Okay, so the next one, like I said, is the Fastback Cuda from 70 again, and the Slime Green is what the strap type thing is called, or is after. Tried to make it as close, eh, just <laughs> be a guitar that you could set in front of the uh, guitar you have. What do they call this again? A can't hardly see it. It's whatever I called it before. <laughs> I'm sure it's called something, but I've mentioned it before, so that's what it's called. Okay, so there you go, the Plymouth thing again. Okay, and took care of that nut, and of course, a uh, good old Sharpie takes care of that white color. I did a lot of black and chrome this time, so chrome washers, black tuners, locking tuners now instead of, remember everything was chrome on here, the black rollers instead of the uh, 10 cent things that were on here. Um, everything is polished and looking great. The same pen striping all the way around. I didn't have to do a, the thing on the bottom like I did the other one. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that sweet? Okay, I think I'm patting myself on the back for that one. So, everything that was chrome is now black. So, here's the front. <clears throat> if I can get it good for you. There you go. Pretty sweet. Okay, now the pickup covers, the knobs, the tip switch I've had for a long time. And it just happened to match the right this guitar and the stock pickups. Okay, so just sweet as all get out, and you know the the correct Hemi decal is here along with a guy made a bunch of these Plymouth logos for me, and let's see, everything is stock still from inside, and this thing sounds way better than the other one strictly because the other one has that Seymour Duncan in it. This sounds like shit. Okay, the whammy stays in. This here's a Fender um, whammy that's got a huge block on it. And I just went in there and filed the nut, cut it, and did the slots all within a matter of about 30 seconds. 
in and out season perfect tuna when you whammy it and dive bomb it. Perfect, no problem. Um, people are like, Scott, why do you wind your strings when you have locking tuners? Sometimes locking tuners fail. Keeps the windings on them. <laughs> okay, so here's the cool part. In, so there's the bridge. Straight fender bridge. I haven't put any kind of rollers on there, but it stays in perfect tune. So you only put them on if you need to. Uh, just a black thing here I threw on. I put in chrome from the last bridge here just to keep with what I was doing because the last one I did uh, black screws everywhere. So I just kept with the chrome, 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 chrome where I thought it looked good. And this is just a single ply pick guard I put on here. The back one's a fender one. So on the back I put the that thing on there. But then the chrome screws for the neck. Okay, here's where it gets cool. Here's what ties it in for the Barracuda, which was actually just called the Cuda for that particular one. How's that? I think it's awesome. And just a fender, actually three ply um, trim cover. But awesome. My wife likes this one the best. Just says it's, she likes the pickup covers and all that. <laughs> So I've got a, all these covers and matching things for every possible neon color guitar I could ever get. Okay, so there you go. And what do we need to do? Um, so, <laughs> that one and this one. And I'm going to teach you about this company right after this video, not before. But after, so don't think I'm done, because if you really want to know how to save a lot of money and know the ins and outs of what to do with this uh, Hard Luck Kings company, stick around for the really groovy stuff. Um, I want to show you, though, what the stock pickups in here, again, now that I've adjusted everything my way and fixed the whammy and fixed the nut and everything, uh, sound like compared to the Seymour Duncan shit pickups. The only reason I have any Duncans around is because they come in guitars that I buy every now and then and then I just take them out because every single one I've ever had blows dog. <laughs> always has, always will. They just have nasty frequencies that you can never get rid of. Um, heavy metal people, they play in because they say Seymour Duncan. I think it's a status symbol for some reason, even though they suck. Because they have so much distortion on there, you can't hear it anyway. Okay, this one sounds like it did, but it even sounds better now that I simply put things where they should be. You know, it's adjusted the pickup so they would uh, equal out for different places. So I won't waste much time. Strictly clean tones, because that's how you hear the tone of a guitar, folks. I will not even run it through the strap. Okay, you're a good pick. There's one. Okay. Listen to this. It's no compressor, no nothing. That's the two position, four position. But I do have the elixir. Um, OptiWebs on here. So I put those on instead of the um, counterfeit D'Addario's that this company is using on here. Compression would just sound like this. Okay, so without the compressor again, one through five. And a whammy, and we'll get out of here. Position one. Two. Three. Four.
and finally just some proof in the pudding. You ready? <laughs> I've got it not decked, but probably a pubic hair off the guitar. So even if you go, you can whammy the hell out of it. is know-how and again maybe 45 seconds total in the entire nut and actually getting it so it won't cut you and then cutting the nut, uh, slots correctly um, and then coloring it with a dark sharpie and we're good to go okay so there you go the Hemi um, Cuda pretty flipping amazing and those are the stock pickups it's just a matter of uh, putting them at the correct height to make them sound great for you um don't forget uh, this is the lowest pickup because that's where the most output comes from the strings that's the loudest part of the guitar is right there okay that's why they generally make these just a little bit hotter because there's no <laughs> hardly any vibration here so don't think you're getting it to try to make your guitar sound louder when you go to the supposed lead pickup no that's just because uh, the strings don't really vibrate much down here, so you need a little bit hotter pickup to uh, make it come out. Okay, that's the reason. It's not what you're thinking. Okay, and then my metal pickup, I always just put it where it sounds right between the two. And just give it a little bit of higher on one end or the other end, whatever it needs, and adjust it. So I think I'm proud of this one. I'm proud of them both. Okay. So expect to see these on the website. I'm sure they'll put them on there. Look at the, um, where everybody shows their shit. <laughs> okay. It depends on how much they like me telling about their stuff. Okay. And, oh. Yeah, so this one. Um, so the highest in whatever junk in there as far as the electric electronics inside the uh and here go the nicest caps the best um everything and i think it will liven up a million times more once i put a fender pickup in there instead of the duncan it's just not a good pickup um and again i had to route for the middle pickup i had to put the because it came with the regular tele type stuff and um what can I say? There's stuff on here that shows you what the inside looks like. You've either seen it or you skipped it. Okay, so here's this one. Again, nailed. Here's the Seymour Duncan. As <laughs> I tried to put that sucker down there because it just annoys the shit out of me. They got that peak frequencies and all their stuff that's in every pickup, whether they want that to be their freak, peak freak. <laughs> response or not okay so try to get a clean sound out of that you can't um, which sucks okay so two position so that and then a Nashville Telly pick up in the middle. That's that Seymour Duncan screwing up the great sound of the Mexican Telly. I mean, yeah, the Mexican Telly pickup. So can't wait to get the Telly pickup in. Okay, in the middle, we're going to. And the volume works 
the way one should. This one actually has the treble bleed and all that junk and um, different resistance on the uh, capacitors and so forth. Tone knob works perfectly. Okay, so all that stuff works correct. And just the typical Fender standard neck pickup. That thing's kicking. Mexican, cheapest Mexican pickup you can get in the neck. Compared to the Duncan, I know different positions, but the quality of the pickup. What a piece of shit. Okay, so Seymour Duncan sucks as a human being. And his pickups have always sucked. Um, if you like them, really try something else um, because you got screw loose. Okay, so there you go, folks. <laughs> and I've never lied to you yet. And um, yeah, these suck so much ass. Not these guitars, but the Seymour Duncan. Okay, there you go. Mm. The Plymouth Collection. Hope you enjoyed all that. And I'll go right now and let you know about the hard luck kings stuff and how to save a shitload of money and know what is true and what is a lie on their company uh, and on their site and how to save a lot of money okay and uh we'll do that right now okay so uh put my axes down and let's take you somewhere where you can not be looking at my crotch <laughs> all right okay we're coming right back. Okay, so time to teach you about this company. Um, number one, here's another one of these that actually fit on the telly looking thing. And, but it's so wrong. The background's supposed to be clear so you can see the green paint. But again, uh, incompetence with pretty much everybody in the entire world. <laughs> okay, so... How do they ship you the guitars? Again, if you buy their cases, you have to pay shipping on that. Okay, they will not ship a guitar in the case. Um, absolutely not, so don't even ask them. They will come in this. Yeah, just like you get at Walmart. And there's another one. Okay, here's the, the telly looking thing that I got. And of course, that means jack crap to anybody. It came like this. UPS refused to stick around while I tried to see if the guitar was any good. And homie started running like a brother back to his truck and took off. I said, I want to open it here. He's like, just file a claim if it's screwed up. Um, so it, you get your guitars like this. Inside, there's another box like that with a hole all the way through it. And that's where the guitar is at, inside that one. And inside you get your little cord and your little Allen wrenches. And it comes in your shroud of Torin here. And a couple of uh, recent things to try to keep the neck from breaking. Again, they do do the um, taking off of the, uh, or loosening of the strings, which is nice. But again, uh, hole all the way through. <laughs> whatever they did, man, they shot this thing with a whatever. Here's the back side, the, the very, very last one. So this son bitch, um, somebody's taking practice with that with bows and arrows. Again, that was for this guitar. And what happened was it lines up the way it was in there. Bam, look at this. That's how the guitar goes in, bang, bang, bang. 
How flippin' miraculous is that bullshit? All the way through, and that's where it goes through. So, lucked out on that one. Okay, here's the strap thing, whatever it's called. We'll go through it shortly. Same thing, same box, same another box. And you get some of these decals if you want to promote the company for any reason. So you get two of these Walmart boxes and then they ship your case if you order one in a really nice box. So another shroud. So here's the deal, dealio. So you got to pay shipping on the guitar and if you buy a case, you have to pay shipping on it. Okay, here's the case. You get a key. You get uh, quite the basic case. Um, $59.95 for any case you want, but then you gotta pay 30 bucks in shipping. So remember that. You can get really superb cases for the same price. Tweed cases if you want, whatever. And here, I mean, these are very, very cheap cases. But anyway, so here's the Tele case because it's been two weeks and they still haven't set my strat case. So again, you get Walmart stuff in there. And the unheard of, which you have to see for yourself, sorry that everything's so shaky, but I am shaky, so that's the way it is. There's no stabilizer on my camera. So that fits like it's supposed to. So that's the whatever bell, Southern Bell. But see right there where the top is? This. <laughs> Think a strap thing's gonna fit in there? No, every single strap and every single telly all fit in the same case, except for with this company. So you have to buy a different case for every guitar. So don't assume you can throw a strap in there, because you can't, okay? So, <laughs> um, that be that. It's, okay, yeah, there's what it is, some kind of bomb. I can't remember the name of it. We'll find it in a second when I show you what's ridiculous, but how to save a lot of money. So again, that is that. Can you buy a fancier case from them? No. Do they offer anything else for that stuff? Um, no. You can get a pewter logo like this screwed to your guitar and they'll do it for you i'll show you that okay i'm not taking screenshots because frankly ugh, i'd rather make you all sick with me moving this around that's half the fun in my life okay so here you are at hardluckkings.com okay and i'm not putting it on the uh tripod here either that I not my <clears throat> there's my mouse um why because um and then this is way up here and then the sight don't start to way down there okay here's what is weird again uh they told me this was the very last one of these and that this was the very last one of these only one left and I got them both and then there's tons more left the very next day and that's what they told me when I wrote or asked them. I said, any, uh, they didn't understand my questions, which I'll tell you in a second. They're like, oh yeah, we just keep pumping them out. If they're a popular model, then we'll just make more. But they're all limited to a certain production number, usually 35 or 40. And then they just make more. <laughs> but then again, they're so cheap. Who cares if they make more? They're never going to be collectible items. Okay, so big shit. Okay. Everybody on here is heavy metal, and most of their guitars are shaped as such. Some cool looking guitars, but nothing I can use, but maybe something you can use. I asked them if they would take some of these really cool other shaped guitars that are neon stuff, and since they order from China every few weeks or whatever, um, they could have them slightly changed. A batch of 35 limited to have single coils in them. So I could have a three single coil Les Paul or three single coil Explorers or these or all this other cool looking stuff they got. But all they wrote back was, um, well, um, we'll just make more of whatever sells. They didn't answer my question at all. 
not even interested in answering it. So the person I spoke to um, didn't care. <laughs> so pre-order your case today. Why are they out? No, <laughs> it's a pre-sale, pre-come sale. Okay, so they got some cool looking stuff coming, but they're all identical to what they already have. There's no new models coming out. Never is. Okay, so they got the bastardized telly. Okay, and the bastardized everything because Gibson jumped their ass on everything. Everything, everything. Yes, that's right. I said everything. So here you go. Um, this thing, whatever it's called, the six string pewter. <laughs> Okay, so it comes with all this kind of crap on it. You've seen all this on eBay. Comes with that around there, those skulls around here. You get your um, shit that just went away for no fucking reason. Okay, your pile of skull knobs. And nothing back here. I'll show you the part they can add the pewter. Um, logo onto it if you want okay so you know there's cool things like that um, it says it's 289 okay let me see if this one has a view of the thing on there no nope. but you can get it in cool orange same way um, if I go back again I do want to find that thing but I mean look da -da 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 -da. 219 uh, whatever price don't pay these prices ever okay see that's a cool looking axe I'd love to have three single coils in that son bitch in that color um, they'll order it they'll have them in every color you want um, if you wait a couple days everything changes on this site in a couple days everything okay so that's why I'm here to show you what's going on okay um, the guitars I have and all the other guitars are two different prices on this site. Are they two different models? No, not at all. They just have them for two different prices. Okay. Um, no difference at all. None. Zero. No spec difference. No nothing difference. Everything is exactly the same. If you go up here and hit guitars, you're going to pay full price. Okay, electric guitars. Right where I was. Kinda. Uh, 239 and they're going to tell you they're all limited editions of whatever so everything is going to be over 200 bucks I like this uh, yellow Les Paul looking thing here that'd be cool with three single coils and I'd get that one too and I'd get this and I would get this but he never said <laughs> he just blew that off um, I'd get that I'd get that I'd get that <laughs> SG ugly. So you can tell that Gibson has jumped all over their ass, but Fender hasn't because Fender has lost their case in court so many times since um, they've waited so long to ever try to sue anybody over the headstocks or the guitar shapes that nobody in the world um, is exempt from copying Fenders any way they want. Fender can be copied down to the letter and it will not matter. It will not stand up in court. Gibson different because they got it on at the beginning um hey they got a lefty okay so there you go there's their guitars so far now here's what i'm going to show you what's what the guitars that i have today here they are want one 200 bucks <laughs> um again i paid a uh, 109 dollars for mine here's this one my other one the way it came I paid $99 for mine. Why? Because they're on the site for that. <laughs> All these are on the site for that. Like, check these. Um, here they are in this weird greenish color. Okay, I'll just take you over and show you these. So, 200 bucks for the telly. Okay, same guitar. Um, no difference. 200 bucks, 200 bucks. So, the telly and the strat, exactly like mine. 200 bucks each. Um, and again, here's the, real quick, the bombshell. That's what they call the strap. So you have to get that case for the strap. Um, where's the other one that I have? Um, Lady Luck Maverick Outlaw Southern Bell. Again, $59.99, but you're going to pay $30-some for shipping and for your guitar as well. 
So you're going to pay $60, $70 for shipping if you order a guitar in a case. Because they're coming from different places and they may or may not send it to you. So you got to get on them. Okay, so my guitars are 200 bucks each. As are go through and look at anything. Because now here's what you do. You go to where it says clearance. Right there. Okay, let's go see what those guitars cost for her. Okay, there's that same green telly. Oh, 109 Same as I paid for mine. Now, remember that Les Paul I showed you over there for 200 and something? There it is, $129. Um, all the other ones that I showed you over there, uh, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $139, $
do something that looks correct instead of having it look like eh, that. Uh, they're not going to let me turn it, are they? My damn camera just keeps going that way. That's what sucks about that. I want it to be sideways. Uh, fucking technology. <laughs> so I would rather see it like that if I was playing my guitar, you know, or for you guys to see it like that instead of, you know, on the guitar it's going to look like that when I'm playing. It's like, what the fuck is it? I don't know. You know, you're not the one that has to look at it. The audience does. So anyway, there's Hard Luck Kings. They make as good a guitar as anybody. Um, and it's not them making it, of course. It's people in China making these. And But for the price, um, they're really awesome guitars, but don't pay the right don't pay the price for them. Uh, there's tons of people on here who will suppose that have stuff, and you can go look at people who have their stuff. But always go to clearance first because everything will be there, and you will get everything super cheap. Look at that. Look at these things. Very cheap, very cheap. And again, uh, the tally, exact same one that's still on sale, or still for sale for 200 bucks. Just come here and get it. Is there any, are these B stock? No, they're 100% just normal <laughs> and stuff. There's nothing different about them at all, nothing. They are not B stock, they are not messed up. There's nothing different except for it's on a different page. There's their bass guitar. And the only thing they offer for 129 and it's way more over on the other thing. Um, they always have their cases on the clearance thing too, but it's the exact same price. It's 59 bucks, all flipping day long. And so it's way more because of the $30 shipping. So, yeah, I want all these in three pickup models, maybe three P90s, three single coils, some coil splittable stuff. Um, but they didn't understand what my question was and <laughs> go figure so i guess i'll have to put my own splittable pickups in and hack them up since they're not going to do anything or they know hablo, hablo de ingles so there you go buy from clearance only save a ton of money and have fun modding them out um pretty like i said hard to um have crappy guitars in this day and age because anybody can have them made cnc machines just pop them out you go to china they'll work for nothing or indonesia they'll work for nothing uh the korean people charge a little more um or the south korean people can kim jong-un can suck our dicks and anyway so that's that clearance 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 one oh nine ninety nine or i know i've already showed you or go to the second page. See, there is a second page now. Um, there it is. And you can go by that same, same telly. Right there it is. For 200 Which would you rather do? <laughs> or buy the guitars that I just got for 109 and $99. Bang, bang. I just went to the clearance page and bought them both. 109 and 99 So they'll be back on there tomorrow guarantee it and here's this one there you go it's got the pewter thing on there the pewter schmidt 200 bucks and it'll be on sale tomorrow for 109 or 99 okay so you guys be groovy i'm really digging my axes um i want to hate posters if you ever get any i don't get anything for mentioning this of course otherwise i wouldn't talk this way but hey just know that you're going to get them and they ship like this crap <laughs> and you're paying shipping for two different things okay all the case dimensions are listed on the site so at least you know if you can you better get that ruler out okay <laughs> so hard luck king guitars enjoy yourself kitty bye bye